Is 9 p.m. too late for toddler bedtime? Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm a therapist specialized in birth to six mental health and sleep. Welcome, welcome. Today we'll talk about whether 9 p.m. is too late for toddler bedtime. If you Google this, let me know in the comments or hit like. Okay, so the real question is, is 9 p.m. too late for your toddler's bedtime? Because the ideal bedtime really depends on individual needs. It depends on how much sleep your individual toddler needs. It depends on your family's lifestyle. It depends on the morning wake time that your toddler needs because the amount of time that they need to sleep, sh there should be enough, enough time for them to sleep from the beginning of the night to when they have to wake up. Their bedtime is also going to be impacted by their nap and nap time and nap length because that is going to impact how much sleep they need overnight. Generally speaking, when choosing bedtime based on the clock, we really want to make sure that there is enough time to get the sleep that they need before it's time to wake up in the morning. And the other very essential thing is to make sure that the majority, large majority of sleep is happening when it's dark outside because our bodies sink into natural light outside. The healthiest, best time to sleep is when it's dark outside. So is 9 p.m. too late? It really depends. If your toddler is napping and the amount of time that they need to sleep overnight is 10 hours, for example, because they're napping for two hours and their bedtime is 9 p.m. and they have to wake up at 7 a.m., then it's a perfect bedtime for you. For most families with toddlers, bedtime ranges between around 7 p.m. and 9, maybe even 9.30 p.m. if they're napping during the day. Signs that your bedtime timing is good and working for you and your toddler. So they will fall asleep easily. Don't usually get a second wind, aren't fighting sleep. When you're done with your bedtime routine, they're actually ready to go to sleep. And it takes them, most people, between 10 and 20 minutes to fall asleep is normal and healthy within the normal range. If it's taking them five minutes or more than like 30 minutes, there might be something that needs adjustment. So for example, if they're falling asleep within five minutes, it's either that you've timed your bedtime perfectly or more likely that they were actually overtired and too tired and needed their bedtime routine to start earlier. If it takes them 30 or more minutes to fall asleep, 30 can still be normal. For some people, it really depends on individual differences. But if it's significantly more than 30 minutes, then it's a sign that things need to shift. It could be that the timing of the bedtime is not right. It could be that the activity or the routine before getting ready for sleep or during the day is not making their sleep easy and good. And that needs adjusting. It could be that your boundaries and limits with your toddler needs attention. Another sign that your bedtime is right for your little one is their overnight sleep is good and consolidated. And if they do have any wakes, they're easily resettled. Another sign that your bedtime routine is right and timing is right is that the routine feels easy, smooth, connected. You're having a good time. It's easy to get through the routine. They're able to follow your instructions and you can get through. Like it's not a battle to get them to kind of get dressed, brush their teeth, read books. It feels smooth and easy and they're not having a hard time following through with the routine. And finally, a really important one, the routine is enjoyable to everybody and feels connected and calm and relaxed and really helps them prepare for sleep. If you want to know exactly how much sleep your toddler needs from one to five years old, including nap and overnight sleep, according to the National Sleep Foundation, click the link in the description and go download the normal toddler sleep guide. If you want to learn why your bedtimes are long and how to shorten them, make sure to check out the free Realistic Toddler Sleep webinar. We talk about why your bedtime is long and how to shorten it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you found it helpful. And I wish you very, very sweet cuddles and dreams. And see you next time.